Switching to politics now and President Trump condemning all racism just one day before the anniversary of those deadly clashes in Charlottesville. This amid new tensions with a once trusted White House aide, Omarosa Manigault Newman. She's now accusing the president of, quote, wanting to start a race war. ABC's Tara Palmieri with the president in New Jersey. Tonight, on the eve of the anniversary of the deadly protest in Charlottesville that shocked the nation, President Trump is calling for unity. Tweeting, the riots in Charlottesville a year ago resulted in senseless death and division. We must come together as a nation. I condemn all types of racism and acts of violence. Peace to all Americans. A year ago, the president was heavily criticized for his response to the clashes. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. Taking 48 hours to call out hate groups by name. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists. Then walking it back. Well, I do think there's blame, yes. I think there's blame on both sides. And tonight, President Trump is responding to accusations of racism made by Omarosa Monagolt Newman, who was fired from the White House late last year. She was asked by TMZ today if the president's attacks on athletes are causing tensions with the black community. He wants to start a race war. Succeeding. Okay. Monagolt Newman rose to fame through Trump's reality show, The Apprentice. Omarosa has to go. You're fired. Now she's out with a book, unhinged, on her year as the administration's highest-ranking African-American official. A book the White House says is, quote, riddled with lies and false accusations. According to the Washington Post, which received an advanced copy of the book, she writes the president is, quote, a racist, misogynist, and bigot. The president has called Omarosa a wonderful woman, but today he had a new name for his former friend. Low life. She's a low life. And Tara Palmieri is in New Jersey with the president. And Tara, this book isn't even out yet, but Omarosa has been called out already for contradicting one of her own claims. That's right, Whit. According to the Washington Post, Omarosa writes that there is a tape of the president using the N-word on the set of The Apprentice, but she admits that she's never actually heard it. And then on NPR yesterday, she said that she's actually heard the tape, changing her story. Whit? All right, Tara Palmieri for us. Thank you. Following the president. Much more on this tomorrow on This Week when Jonathan Carl goes one on one with counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway, and attorney Michael Avenatti. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.